Hello guys, today we are going to remember what we learned this week. So, this week we learned, or for the ones that didn't know, we learned about how to round decimals, or rounding decimals. Actually, it's very easy, and you can remember for this topic the song that we used to use the last year that it was, if it's five or more, let it soar, let it soar. If it's four or less, let it stay, let it stay. That is really helpful for you to understand or to remember how to round numbers. Here is a simple explanation. Here we have uh, 38 and 25 hundreds and 38 and 255 thousands and 38 and 26 hundreds. And they are telling you that if you increase, if you are rounding to this side the number, you have to increase one, but if not, you are staying the same. This is just an anchor chart for you to remember. This is just vocabulary. Now we are going to practice. We are going to have some practice. We are going to round in a number. Let's think about a number. No say, I mean... Um, 3 and uh, 25. And for example, I told you or the instruction says that you have to stand up in the 10th tenth place. That's why here I have the place value and I sent you on Phidias to print it because it's very important. So if I tell you and the instruction says that you have to round to the nearest tenths so you have to stand up in the number that is in the value of the tens and then what do you have to do look the next door and if it's five or more what it means that if the number that is in the next door is five six seven eight or nine, it means that you have to increase by one. Yes, but if the number that is in the next door is four, three, two, or one, you have to stay. What it means is stay, that the number that I stand up on, I don't have to change it. I don't have to increase it. I have to keep it like that stay the same so let's think about it so three and twenty five hundreds you have to round it to the nearest tens so you stand up in the tens and look at the next door that is five that means that i have to excellent increase by one that means that this number keeps the same Coma is the same, but the number two, that is the first number that I wear stand up. I have to change it into or increase by one. That it means is now a three. It's a three. Now, let's think about another number. Maybe this one. A three and one hundred sixty-nine thousands. And let's pay attention to the instruction. Round to the nearest tens. Mm, round to the nearest tens. So you have to stand up in the tens. Tens because it's the place value or the, the value that you have to stand up to round. The number that you have to round. Look at the next door. And remember the song, if it's five or more, let it soar, let it soar. So that means that this number, the number one, has to change. And I have to increase or stay? Increase, excellent. Because it is more than five. Okay? Okay, so three keeps the same, stay the same. And one, I have to change it because now I have to increase. Two. Teacher, but what happened with the number 9 and the rest of the numbers? It doesn't matter, guys, because the instruction says that you have to round the number that is in the 
value of the tens. Okay? Let's do the last example and you can practice in your house, okay? Let's think about another number, a big one. Maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 123 and, I don't know, 3 tens. 123 and 3 tens. Round it to the nearest ones. What do you have to do? Ah, you have to stand up in the position that the instruction is telling you. Round to the nearest ones place. That's why the place value chart is a very, very important. Now, Look at the next door. What happened in here? Ah, teacher is three. That means that we have to stay the same. So the new number that we are going to have here is 123. That's it. Because the number stays the same, keeps the same because three is less than four or in this case, not five. So this number disappears and you just got 123. Got it? That's it. I really hope you understood this. And don't forget to practice with your place value chart all the time because it's very important for you to remember the position of the numbers. Okay, guys? Bye.